fast whether you're stocking up or buying gas when you stop at West End Market. West End Market is open seven days a week with convenient picnic supplies or everything you need for a quick lunch or snack. And it's a favorite quick stop for a pit stop on Carlisle's West End. Quality Shell Gasoline will take care of your car and the folks at West End Market will get you back on the road in a hurry. Jane Ellen, Paula, Hester and Mary, and the Sparks. You're always welcome at West End Market, Carlisle. For dependable and dignified financial service, for 120 years, people in Nicholas County have turned to Deposit Bank of Carlisle. You can count on Deposit Bank for a wide variety of solid and trustworthy savings programs. And whether you're seeking a personal loan, a loan for a new home or auto, Deposit Bank is sincerely interested in your business. They give you the dignified treatment you deserve in all your financial business. Deposit Bank of Carlisle, corner of Main and Locust downtown. Member FDIC. For a drugstore that's more, visit Carlisle Drug. You get old-fashioned personal service from the pharmacy where their complete patient profile system helps them advise about your prescriptions. And you also get a full line of cosmetics, twin print photo processing, greeting cards, and gift ideas, plus a good selection of supplies for back to school. It's a drugstore and more. Make Carlisle Drug your family's first place to shop. Open seven days a week and always with a senior citizen's discount. Main Street, Carlisle. The religious community in Nicholas County is very strong. When the churches drew together for a community worship service, the response was successful. Uh, the Ministerial Association has been quite active for a long time. Uh, two years ago, we sort of initiated a quarterly community service over and above the two traditional ones uh, to take place, uh, well, like in the fall, the winter, spring, and summer, uh, sort of that idea. And uh, these have been well received by the community. We don't pull large crowds because it is a small community, but uh, when we can get 100 people, that's considered a good crowd for us. The organization does not infringe upon any of the doctrinal issues that might be connected with any of the church. Each one of us have our own persuasion, yet at the same time, we feel that where we can cooperate, that's where we do. The thing is, in a small town, I've noticed that the division line is not as, as uh, uh, broad from church to community as it is in other, other situations, other cities. And that's, uh, I like that. <laughs> There's a certain togetherness in small communities and small churches uh, that you don't find in your big city churches. Of course, we have our disadvantages too. By being so small, you don't have the resources and the, the people to pull from, but uh, the few that we have are very active and very strong. And I think that would go for almost all the churches in town. Nicholas County has a very efficient hospital. It was built in 1979 with wide community efforts. Probably 70% of our patients are from Nicholas County. Uh, they want to use the facility. They want to stay here as opposed to going to Lexington or some of the surrounding facilities. So it's, it's very good support. Uh, we have five physicians in town, four uh, family practitioners, and one general surgeon. Uh, they've been here ranging from around 38 years to about four years. Um, they're very, very good practitioners, excellent diagnosticians, and great relations with the patients and with the hospital. They're very, very loyal and work as, as hard as they can for the, the betterment of the hospital. We've got a, um, a small rural hospital that takes care of a lot of um, basic medical needs. Uh, the people feel cared for here. And uh, we feel that when, when people come to the hospital that they'll get good care for the problems that we're taking care of. When we were looking for a place to practice after our hospital closed in New York, we visited Kentucky. and. Uh, uh, me and my wife first came and uh, saw the place, and we loved the area. So we decided to bring our kids with us and see the place, and they all love it. So we decided to move here. You're really satisfied with practicing local community like this because you know everybody. And if you have helped somebody, it always comes back to you, you know, let you know how they are. We know the majority of the patients. They know us. And that's probably, I, I think, probably our, our biggest strength is the personal care that the people receive and I think they enjoy it and I think our people enjoy giving it. 
Nicholas County has a nursing home that means so much to the families who want to have their friends and relatives stay near their own hometown. We basically try to make sure that all of the patients are taken care of well, that um, they are basically happy, that we provide the things that make them happy. Well, they've been off last time we're here. Uh -huh. And I like to play bingo. And I like to go to the sing-along Sharon has on Thursday. And we go to church on Sunday afternoon. She came here almost five years ago. And I'm here most every day. And I have come at different hours to check and see the condition things were in at the different hours, different shifts. And I've been happy with, I thank God every day for this place where she can be and know that she is well taken care of. Uh, well, I like it over here. One thing, reason I like it is because my daughter's over here. And then the other folks, they just seem like friends, close friends. We have a great staff, we sure do. And I think our patients are taken care of super well. I mean, they try to meet all of their needs. And being a small community, I think it's just like one big family that we do. We really have a good staff here. We'll look at an education system that Nicholas Countyans can be justifiably proud of when Kentucky Life comes back. Make your home team read and vice. Read and vice building supplies gives Nicholas County builders and do-it-yourselfers everything for home improvement. Lumber to get you started. Plumbing and electrical supplies. Cabinets and finishing touches like wall coverings and custom mixed paint. Everything for your home improvement project at home in Carlisle. Make your home team read and vice and build with a winner. Read and vice building supplies, South Broadway, Carlisle. Buy two pair of jeans at Lester's Family Store and get a bell free. Lester's has casual clothes for the entire family. And with everyone headed back to school, you can count on Lester's for good selection and good prices. Lester's will dress you head to toe in your favorite name brands, Lee and Wrangler, Converse. With fall just around the corner, try on a new pair of Red Wing, Walker, or Georgia work boots. Remember, buy two pair of jeans and get a new belt free at Lester's Family Store. Now open later for back to school. Main Street, Carlisle, 10% discount to senior citizens. What are your furniture needs? Bedroom furniture? See Garrett's. Living room? See Garrett's. Dining room? See Garrett's. Whatever the room, whatever the need, you can depend on Garrett's furniture. Do you need appliances? See Garrett's. Accessories? See Garrett's. For top quality brand names at affordable prices, plus free delivery and outstanding service, see Garrett's. Garrett's furniture, serving all of Central Kentucky since 1952. During our visit to Nicholas County, some of the most frequent comments we heard were directed toward its excellent school system. We have a, uh, a small school system, one of the smallest in the state. Uh, we have all of our programs on a 52-acre farm, and uh, we're predominantly a rural community. We've, uh, uh, we have a lot of uh, Nicholas County people teaching in our school system. Uh, this year, we're expecting in the neighborhoods of 930 30 students. Uh, we are a kindergarten through the eighth. Uh, that's the way we're set up to operate. And uh, there are 40, 47, 48 teachers, and then our cooks and custodians and bus drivers. So it's it's a fairly large school. Our students here uh, are just ex exceptional students. We don't have a lot of major discipline problems. We have, like everyone else, you have some, but. Most of our problems are very minor, and the students are well behaved. Anytime we take a bunch on a field trip, uh, anywhere we go, we're highly complimented as far as the behavior of the students. And so we're very proud of our students. And I think uh, the type of parenting they get is reflected in their behavior. So we're very proud of them. The uh, children go from here, of course, right up the hill to the ninth grade. They are with children they have ridden to school with on the bus every day. They've had breakfast with these children, so they're used to the young people there, so they, they don't feel too out of place. And most of them make a pretty good adjustment when they get up there. We have 
general curriculum, which you know, which is mandated by the state, and we we have a few enrichment courses that you know we had maybe on the local level that there might be a high interest in. We have French and. Because we're a smaller school, we don't offer some of the things that the bigger systems have, but we do have, think that, you know, the quality of it is, is good rather than just having a large quantity of classes. I graduated from this school, and uh, I, didn't, I never felt like I was, you know, had any problems at all in college. As a matter of fact, I, I've said many times that I really think it was probably t my junior year before I felt challenged at a college level. You know, I'm not saying that I think we prepare everything, you know, super or anything like that, but I think we do a, a very good job. Around here, are the, the surrounding counties, I think we compare to them, but it's just basically the same things. So if we're a smaller community, and I think it's a little bit closer together, all the students are better friends because we all know each other and our backgrounds. We have an excellent staff. Uh, we have several people that have been here for several years and some new people working in, and uh, we have uh, you know, good relationship, and we all work together to try to get the best education for the children that we possibly can. They're really supportive. They um, stand behind you. You know, anything that you need, uh, they provide for you. It's a really good program. The Nicholas County School System stresses a strong academic curriculum, but it also puts a great emphasis on its athletic programs. We met new head basketball coach Lee Cruz at a recent summer camp. What we're trying to do right now, this is a camp for the 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, and ninth graders. And we're just basically trying to, more than anything else, trying to stir up some enthusiasm and some excitement about the program. We're also trying to give a little bit back to the community. You know, I, I feel like that uh, any program that's worth anything is probably uh, a program that's uh, it's not necessarily what I'm going to get out of it. It's what I, as a, a person that's coming in here, as a resource person, is going to be able to give back to the community and back to the, the kids. And I feel like if we go with that kind of philosophy, we'll have some success. You know, the pride and the character shown by the people of Nicholas County is heartwarming. We asked some of the people we interviewed, how are you doing today, sir? What they thought was the best thing about life in Nicholas County. Here's some of their answers. The people are friendly. I really, they're really friendly to you, you know. I've been an outsider, really, and since working here, they've really made me welcome. Well, it just seems like everybody's just one big family. I mean, it's, uh, it's a good place to live. Everybody knows everybody, and uh, everybody, at, in time of need, everybody pitches in and helps. But the love of Carlisle reigns within me, and I love this county. I could went to other counties, and I threatened to do once because of a few things. But uh, they said, no, don't you leave. We need you in Nicholas County. <laughs> <laughs> you got to admit, Nicholas County has its share of interesting people. They display a pride and a, and a character that you don't see much anymore. One of these uh, interesting people is Bill Crawford, who is our promotions manager at WLEX-TV. Bill commutes 45 minutes to work each day. Bill, there's got to be some really deep underlying reason why you do that. Well, there probably are several reasons. Uh, one of the reasons is the people of Nicholas County, I think, and the character that you mentioned of Nicholas County. It's uh, sort of special. The uh, people have a strong work ethic. Uh, the town itself, Carlisle, the county seat, has buildings that just have a character that's hard to find in other places. And, of course, I'm prejudiced. I did grow up here in Nicholas County and uh, have just recently come back. And I suppose you, you mentioned the underlying reason. Well, how about this? Ha ha, yes. The view from the back of the house, one of the prettiest I think I've ever seen. It's absolutely gorgeous. You know, every day as I come up the hill and I, I turn into the driveway, I look out and We're climbing over vehicles here.